Hello, my baby. Hello, my hunter. Hello, this is Jim Strapper. Chaps. Not y'all. Yeah. That's not a title. I'm in here, Alex. Close the dough. 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 Huh. Alright, guys. We're almost done with the prison. Fucking boring at, prison. <laughs> at Billy's request, we've... Uh, Filmed the more episodes in this session than we would have normally because he hates this part. Apparently, I don't hate it. It's just boring. So I hate. I don't know. I. It's a lot of fun doing it the first time you played it. I don't know. I I, I like it. I think it's, it's just so cool. many I mean, fucking turret is, sections. There are a lot of turret sections, but I mean, it's like there aren't really any other times in the game that you do it. So I guess they wanted to just kind of be like, hey, this is the time that you do it. I was so afraid for you, Sp Eri. Spoilers, you die. Spoilers, you have a leg missing. That actually is a pretty big spoiler that you just dropped. <laughs> That's like saying in Game of Thrones when... <laughs> oh, you mean when he... <laughs> yeah, when Jamie Lannister... <laughs> and then when he was on top of... And then he had Thrusting. sex with, and then he had sex with the sister. That's not even a spoiler. That happens in the first fucking episode. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. happens in the first episode. Spoilers. When did? When is the new season of that supposed to come out? Um, you know? I believe it was May. Ooh, I think maybe I'll actually watch it as the episodes come out, as a, as opposed to binge watching it. <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline. I'll probably. What be are you doing? I'll be oh, I'm getting out of here, this bitch. Season, I mean, like, because I didn't watch the show, like, you know, as it was happening. I watched it after all four yeah. seasons were out. So you got to binge watch. <clears throat> well, yeah, and plus I had broken my toe at the time, so I'm like, yeah, Game of Thrones, man. It's a good show. I actually rather enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't think it was anything, like, too super, like, bl mind-blowing amazing, but that's maybe because of the fact that I was, like, kind of, like, you know, prone to the idea that, like, many main characters die. Yeah. I want, uh, I love Arya, man. She's, she's my favorite. She's probably my favorite character in the whole show. And it's funny because, like, when you first see her, I, I would never imagine that she would be my favorite character. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because she's kind of just like, eh, whatever. And she doesn't really get much development early on. But, but later, oh, she's, she's brilliant. Um, it looks like... She's fucking brilliant. April 12th. That's not bad. Yeah, that, that's... That's what the the wiki for it says, but you know, probably it might be pushed back, might be pushed forward. Who knows? Oh, I'm supposed to be doing this. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, Ari is Ari your favorite too? Uh, out of the, I can't really, I don't know who my favorite is. I don't remember. I don't even remember all of the living characters at the end of season four. So. Uh, but she's, she's probably my favorite. Like, she was the one that, like, uh, what's her face? Brienne? Mm -hmm. Brienne, I liked her a Brienne lot. Brienne with Turf. I liked her. How many is Brienne with Turf? She's good. I killed the hound. Maybe. <laughs> Spoilers, again. <laughs> but I, I'm assuming that a new fan has already seen it, but, yeah. We don't know. Yeah, we, we don't, don't know for sure, but it's pretty pretty much implied. All right, so this will be a Game of Thrones spoiler heavy episode, maybe. Yeah, just put a big old yeah, text that'll, block yeah, in yeah, the that'll be a, yeah. Billy's an asshole and <laughs> doesn't care about if uh, I, uh, he spoils stuff. Well, I mean, if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. And if you haven't seen it by now, then you probably don't have any interest in it, so fuck it. You see, I hear that in the books there's a person that shows up. I haven't read any of the books. Um, that is maybe the hound, so maybe oh. he's still alive. Is what? Because I mean, well, you, well, you don't. They don't. They don't. You know, they don't show on screen yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's just laying there in pain while dying. Mm -hmm. He could have got saved. Yeah. Possible. Totally possible. That's very Game of. Th I kind of. It's feel very like, Game yeah. of Thrones to just fucking outright murder the guy. Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I. I honestly do kind of feel like he's gonna be back because it's like they didn't. Yeah, they didn't outright kill him, and yeah, I mean, he was such a. Everyone fucking loved that guy. Well, yeah, like at the beginning you hate him, but like you know, through his journeys with Arya, 
Yeah, I love it. It's a, it's such a cool because they were really good foils. Oh yeah, I loved it, dude. Like that's what made their characters work so well is because it's like they're totally like on different sides of the track, you know. Yeah. He's the uh, the asshole that doesn't care about anything. Mm-hmm. He's really good at fighting, and Arya is smart and very very revenge driven. Sassy, yeah. She becomes pretty She's sassy. Like, she becomes heavy by the end, like you know, by like by yeah, the end of that season. Like she like, gains oh. like fifty pounds. It's terrible. <laughs> no, I mean like heavy isn't like cannibal corpse heavy. Yeah. Have you uh, have you actually heard what her voice sounds like uh, when she's not being Arya? Uh, yeah, she's like an annoying teenager. She's very British. Yeah, she's an annoying teenager. Have you seen the way she looks when she's not Arya? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. got like a backwards cap and shit. Yeah, and, like, she's a very annoying she's teenager. Got, she's got like a backwards flat-brimmed cap. I don't know what her name is, unfortunately, her, the actress's name. but she's got, Oh, Mila Kunis. And then she's got a fucking like nose ring and shit, and it's just like... Uh, that, I totally wish you didn't look like that, but oh well. You're still you're still a fantastic actress in the in the confines of the show. That was really boring. Like nothing happened. Yeah, I know. Oh, now that they're in the thing, we we, we now, we'll, bust in. Now yeah. let's go full force. <laughs> yeah. Hug me. Can I hug you? No. I guess she doesn't even fucking like. She's just yeah. Really? Why why are you yelling at me like <laughs> this? <laughs> I'm sorry, my finger's slipping. Uh, and then what's her face? Sansa, she sucks. I don't yeah, like her. I don't like Sansa. She's, she's dumb. Fuck her. Jimmy has the exact opposite opinion. He likes Sansa a lot more and hates Arya. Well, you know what? He's entitled to that opinion, and his opinion's wrong. <laughs> yeah, my opinion's correct because Arya's. It's our show. What we say goes. Yeah. Aliens are real. <laughs> I just like Sansa doesn't do shit. She doesn't do shit throughout the whole fucking show. She sits around and cries. That's what she does. She's so stupid. I I actually remember one of my arguments with Jimmy was why Arya's better. I'm like, okay, Sansa doesn't do anything. She's she's terrible. Blah blah blah. And then he's like, tell me one time that you know, or give me a, give me something for Sansa. I'm like, okay. You know that one time when she, uh, you know, she walks up to her her aunt, who's standing over a giant fucking pit, and has already, you know, fucking broke, almost, you know, tried to break her hands because yeah, she yeah, thought, yeah. you know, cheating with Peter. Yeah. Peter. And she's like, Sansa, come to me near this giant fucking pit. That I will throw you down if yeah, you ever come near. Yeah, it's like it's like don't no. It's like you fucking idiot. Don't go near. Her. Yeah. What are you doing? I Just love that. Call part, your though. fucking aunt a bitch and get the fuck out. Baelish was such a pimp when he did. <laughs> I loved it. I yeah. I mean, it's like you can see it coming from a mile oh, away, yeah, but yeah. it was so. There's like, only one woman I love. And, and, she, <laughs> and she is not you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love that because it's just like I always love that idea of like how betrayed and awful does she feel in that one like instant of like she's got like 20 seconds max to like fucking reflect on like being betrayed by the one person that she loves <laughs> and she falls oh yeah and then she just <laughs> she does her stupid fucking son down there that piece of shit yeah Robin guy. Oh, asshole. but he's still alive I believe yeah I thought he dies no he's alive oh never mind he just wants everybody to fall down and uh, make him fly. Yeah, he's gonna do it next. I bet. That kind of reminds me of that one part. Spoilers again for this is this is Spartacus related. You remember that when that fucking kid killed what's his face? What's that guy's name? You know who I'm talking about? The blonde haired dude. Oh yeah. Devo. I'm gonna call him Devo because yeah, it was something like that. I forgot what his name was. Yeah, yeah. But that fucking guy, that fucking kid, that ordered his death. Mm-hmm. I think everybody relished his, like, when he finally just got the shit stabbed out of him by that guy's wife. <laughs> if you haven't seen Spartacus... Uh, it's been if, so long since I've seen that. Yeah, well, we still haven't even seen the last season. Yeah. But uh, if you haven't seen Spartacus, I would highly recommend checking it out, if, especially if you're into Game of Thrones, because it's very similar in that sense of, like, you know, kind of... Uh, 
similar, but not a... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a different kind of, like, uh, drama and shit going on. I would say, comparatively, it is, uh, definitely not as good. Uh, Spartacus I liked, is definitely not I as really good. liked the first two seasons, as in Blood and Sand and Gods of the Arena. Vengeance kind of, I don't yeah. know, I don't know why, but I just kind of lost interest in Vengeance. I really don't know why, because, like, Vengeance was still good. Like, after we finished it, we're like, holy shit, that was really good. It was just that, like, I don't know, like, there was something about, like, I don't know. See, what ends up happening is, is like, there's, uh, I mean, it, I guess it shouldn't really necessarily be a spoiler, because it is actually based on, like, you know, the what, app, like, events. Yeah, so, like, Spartacus, they're all, like, in this ludus, you know, slaves and, and being gladiators and fighting in the arena and shit. And the whole idea is that if they win enough fights, they gain their freedom, much like, you know, gamer or something. <laughs> You know, gamer. like any other sort of like you know death race, whatever. Yeah, uh, enslavement type of deal. But basically, like what they ended up doing, it's you know, like I said, it's kind of it's based on the whole. Um, yeah, because that was an actual thing, like a Spartac the Spartacus uprising and all that mm -hmm. shit or whatever. But basically, like after a while, he unites all the slaves, and then they go in and murder everybody in the Ludus, and then they escape and become free. So the whole first season is them like in the Ludus trying to escape after a while. And, like, everything after that is... So, well, Gods of the Arena was a prequel to the first season. And then, uh, what's it called? Was uh, Vengeance was, like, the follow-up where they were, like, free and trying to be free and liberate, like, all these other slaves and shit. Yeah. And it's just, like, I don't know what it was, but there was just something about, like, uh, them and the Ludus, like, you know... It just felt, like, better because it's, like, you could, like that, that goal of theirs is so tangible... Like, you know, it, like, as to the viewer anyway, like, it's a very clear goal, like, that they're trying to do. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, it feels like every single thing that they're doing, like, matters because it's, like, you know, all the while they're trying to escape, you know, like, trying to avoid, like, any sort of conflict with, uh, Body Otis and whoever else, you know, because it's, like, they want to try to live long enough to, to escape, you know? Whereas once they fucking escape, um... They just don't really... I don't know, it's just like, it's just kind of like, what are they doing? You know? Yeah. Like living? Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've got to bind this command to a key here, so hold on one sec. Yeah, I would say definitely, overall, Game of Thrones is better, but the one thing Spartacus has over it, definitely, is, uh... What you fucking call it? Uh, they have so much better action. For sure. Yeah, without a doubt. It's very much... It's, it's very stylized. It's a lot of slowdown kind of stuff, but it's it's action. Oh, yeah. That's what it's about. Well, Game of Thrones has, you know, more talking, better characters and most of the time. I still feel like, um... Oh, that was weird. I still feel like Spartacus had a lot of good, like, oh, yeah, dialogue I... and stuff, though. Like, it, it was... It's not as, uh, I guess, like, detail-heavy in, in a certain sense. Like... Um, the thing I think that really makes the difference between the two shows in some sense is the the fact that, like, the link between all the characters in Game of Thrones, like, they're all linked in one way or another. Like, they're all part of the same, uh, like, conflict, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they all have, like, different ways of uh, impacting one another and shit like that. Like, I guess, if that makes any sense, like, you know, you see, like, the same conflict being fought from different sides, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't really know... Not everybody's going to be rooting for the same person, like, as a viewer. Whereas in, in Spartacus, it's basically you just want Spartacus to win, you know. Yeah, it's more of a straightforward... And that's, you know, nothing wrong with that, but I think that's what makes Game of Thrones so interesting and cool, is the fact that, like, everybody's kind of got, like, their own characters that they like and dislike, and it's like, you know, they all have different relationships between one another, which is pretty sweet. So, like, you know, arguments like, you know, the whole... I like Arya more than Sansa debate can happen or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though I really don't, I just don't really see, like, much justification for liking uh, Sansa more than Arya. I just, I still don't get it, Jimmy. I don't get it. I can understand why he likes her. I actually think it's more of why he doesn't like Arya. Maybe. Because that's the thing more, more than liking... <laughs> what is he pinned to? Apparently the pole behind them. <laughs> yeah. It's more of not disliking or liking Sansa more. It's just Why he not like... liking Arya. Yeah. Because I don't know, it's just like I... 
I didn't really think that she did fucking anything about the whole show. Like, no. with Sansa. Like, she just sat around and, and cried and got hit by Joffrey and shit. Like, she didn't really do anything. She just fucking existed. That's as much as she did. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how I see it. You know, and, like, Arya's journey is just more interesting because it's, like, it's a really simple, like, goal, but, like, it's such a far-off thing. Like, you know, she's just trying to get back to with her family, you know? Although, that's not to say that Sansa's is totally simple and clean and all that shit, yeah. but, I mean, it's just, like, I don't know. I know he doesn't like it, Arya because she's so revenge-driven. That's what makes her so cool, though. She's a badass. I mean, I'm not saying that her intentions are pure and, and oh, righteous. No. no. Very, very It's awful. fucking very selfish and mean and terrible, but that's what makes it so much, like, I don't know, it's so much more, like, I don't know, interesting to me. Like, she's taking fucking control of the shit that's going on. Like, she don't stand for it. Whereas Sansa just puts up with it for so long, and then, like, when some other person, like, fucking Baelish comes in, and he's like, all right, fucking come with me, damn it. Bitch. <laughs> you know? Yeah, time to make you relevant. Like, okay, okay, S spoilers here again more. Uh, when fucking Sansa is set to marry Tyrion, you think fucking Arya would deal with that shit? No, Arya... She would not fucking stand for that. Arya would fuck the shit out of him. She would sneak out and bang someone else. <laughs> Cause that, it's good at that time because people were married off at that young anyway. Oh, yeah, but I was just saying, like, she wouldn't... She, I just, I don't see her, like, you know, just, like, you know... Lying down and taking that. She'd be like, no. uh, no. Not doing that. Sorry. No, she'd probably kill Tyrion. Yeah. Which, I'm very glad that that didn't happen. Oh, I'm, I'm rather surprised he's made it as far as he has. Because there have been several instances where he should, uh... Yeah, that. <laughs> I have a bad feeling he's gonna die. Oh, yeah, he at, probably, like, he probably a last did. season thing, and everyone's gonna be like, no! Because he's so... It's kind of like when he's... Breaking Bad dies at the end of Breaking Bad. Yeah, when Breaking Bad dies at the end of Walter. <laughs> at the end of Walter. <laughs> Wasn't that like a Disney movie? <laughs> or something? I don't know. That sounds kind of familiar. Like if it, like a fucking Pixar movie or something like that. I don't know. Walter! I, I could be... I, I feel like I'm delirious. So, I don't know. You're not H2O delirious. That's a YouTuber. Shut the fuck up. Get the hell out of here. I don't need help. Sometimes I dream of cheese. I don't need any help. I'm a, I'm I'm the free man. Do you want ragu? Ragu's a kind of bad. I made it. Whoopsie. Oh, oh whipped it. Whoa, that guy's got bad reaction time. <laughs> they both had bad. And he's dead. <laughs> you shot once between them, and both of them were looking. But... They they just didn't do anything. They're just like, eh. yeah. <laughs> no one actually attacks. <laughs> no one guy gets fucking shot in the back of the head. Do you do prefer that shotgun? Well, do you see where I am? I mean, this is like a close quarter sort of thing, you know. Yeah. So of course you're gonna use the crowbar. Wait for me, Dr. If the crowbar had a shotgun attached to the end of it, then yeah. <laughs> With the crowbar <laughs> shot shotgun. No, thanks. <laughs> I think we're about out of time. Yep. All right. So next time on Chins Chap Chap, Spartacus spoilers. <laughs> Why are we gonna spoil Spartacus? Oh, fuck off.